Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. Part two of the heater install. So what I'm doing is I'm tearing out into my brick. Uh, this rolled up on the edges all the way up to this line. The soldier brick was standing up, so I knocked them out and then I'm having to take out two runs to get 14 inches from this space straight back. And uh, we're gonna get this stuck in here now this is my gas line over here y'all see i didn't put a cap on it it also has a valve over there under the wall i got a hinge that i can let me show y'all this it's pretty neat the way i did this y'all see i got a hinge right here see that'll flop up and you can see i got a valve i think you can see anyway Anyway, we got the gas capped off where it's not gonna be a problem. It's in a steel pipe. Um, so it's shut off over there and capped off here. I am cleaning up brick, throwing them in a five gallon bucket right here. Taking a sledgehammer and knocked a hole in there. So, we're gonna get this all cleaned up. When I get some help over here, we're going to get the heater insert slid in here. If that all goes well, we don't have to tear out a whole bunch of stuff. At that point, we'll get back in the back and we'll cut a stove pipe, get it through the wall, and then we're going to build a chimney. So hang with us. We're going to get this heater put in.
The whole gamble was we could have sat down and just leave them, but I had to build that funnel. You got a relation. Yeah. What? You couldn't put your well, you can handle them on the side. <laughs> Turn around and smile at that camera. Hey there. <laughs> I'm gonna play music over all that, so. Well y'all, that was a challenge. But we did get it in there without having to cut that top part I got off, so. I'm happy. I'll get the camera and we'll look over in behind there. I'm going to have to cut a hole in the wall back there to run my pipe out. There's a stud right dead center of where I want to go straight out the wall. So I'm probably going to just cut the stud in two because this house is not sitting on the walls. This house is built on post. Uh, the studs are there simply to fasten the walls too. Um, it's so my, my studs in there are not supporting the roof. They're not load bearing walls, any of them in this house. So I can cut out whatever stud I want to here. Now in your house, you may not can do that, but the way this is built, I can. So, uh, but now I'm happy with everything, the way this is, it looks and all, uh, you can't see this shiny no more. Get over here at another angle you may can. I don't know. Not really. I don't know if y'all can see anything down in there or not. Oh. But anyway, we got this baby in there. When I start doing some more to it, I'll pick you up, show you how we're running the pipe and all that out. Pulled up back here with my tools. I'm thinking to start working on cutting a hole in this wall, run my chimney out. Now this, y'all ever notice how one project leads into a whole bunch more? It's the same way here. So now I'm thinking I've already been wanting to do this for a long time. I just really hadn't got motivated to do it. I want a back patio. I want my griddle and my grill and all that stuff back here. I like to sit on my front porch, but I think I would enjoy even more, especially in the springtime, sitting out back here where I can look down and see my gardens and stuff. Know what I mean? So, I need a place to keep my firewood dry. Well, I don't have to tote it a long ways. This door, this this is a north side, and this you, you can scrub that door, and in a month's time, it's got green stuff growing back on here. Well, maybe a little longer month, maybe two or three months. But it, you can't keep it off, and the whole house turns green back here. I want to build a round wood, so we're going to wind up building us a back deal back here, and I'm going to build it out of round pine trees. In fact, I've already cut two of them down back there a while ago. I was cutting up some firewood. So anyway, I got my drill, I got my jigsaw, pencil. It's dark over that hole, and, and I can see what I'm doing, but if I take the camera, you can't see. So I got old headlight right here. I think it works. I may have to go get my Dan Force light. But anyway, I got a jigsaw. I got to cut a stud in two. I got to cut some tin. Uh, basically, I'm going to drill some holes first, though, and then I'll cut the tin from the backside, so... Let's get on this project, see if we can get this pipe through the wall today. Uh, and then we'll build a chimney and all later on during the week. Y'all, you ever wonder how I got all of us back off in this hole over here? Y'all, I got this headlight on over here. Now what I'm trying to look here. We may have to strike a match to see if this kind of on up here on my head. I can't see nothing with this thing. All right, what I'm trying to do, I already know that, see there's a screw right there? Well, that's a, that's a stud right there. I, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty sure of that. Sometimes you just go. Yeah, you can hear it. Tell the difference. But anyway, we're going to kind of run over here. And we're going to mark that pipe there. I just kind of slide my pencil up there and get me some, give me some good guesstimations. All right. I 
Hey, Michelle. Yeah. I need a piece of that stainless pipe. Where's it at? I don't know. All right. Hang on a minute. Can y'all tell if that light's on or not now? Yeah, I can see it's on now with that right there. <laughs> Anyway, look, I got this piece of insulated pipe. That's what's gonna go through there, so I'm on. Uh, I'm kind of a scribbling around it with a pencil here. We need to turn around and use the end with the lead in it. And and y'all, let, let, let me show y'all something. Let, let me show y'all something. Look, climbed up your ladder right here. Monkey, what are you doing, fella? Come to help me. You helping? Okay. He he's helping. I think we got an audience. <laughs> well, I figured out if you'll take your batteries out and wipe that crud off of them, that, that works a lot better. So anyway. Let's see here. We're gonna drill a couple of holes right here. I'm gonna drill one right here. And then we're gonna take a jiggum saw. I don't know what to do right up here. Mm -hmm. I knew that was a stud right there. Yep. So it's gotta be. Yeah, all right, I knew right where it stood at now. All right. See how I cut that with it. Oh. 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 Let's quack, quack, quack this in. Well, we already got us some firewood. Boy, we gotta get that on there now. I didn't want to operate a co co-operate. There it went. Come on now, you little sweet, soft Hungarian W. I want a good snug fit. I don't I don't want no leakage. Leakage of smoke. This ain't one of them, one of them deals that you can put uh, electrical tape around it to fix. <laughs> right here, and find my hole, and I know that's pretty much dead nut right there. So 
y'all can see salty what I'm a doing here. And I want my hole pretty close. I tell you what, I'm gonna have to hold it better though. I gotta get my shoulder up against it. Let me get it right on. Right there. hands here. I can even hold it better with my left hand. I don't know how you right-handed folks get along. I, I have to do it with my left hand to make it work right. I see people trying to do everything with their right hand. Ain't no wonder they make a mess out of everything. <laughs> Y'all didn't want to hear that, did you? Let's see if we can whack this in. I really don't need this light of blinding y'all out here, do Let's see if we can cut a round hole out here. Right in the side of my new house. It ain't new no more, but you know when you get a new truck and 10 years later you still say, that's my new truck. Y'all been a while since I whacked on any metal here. Oh, Jose watches this video. He's liable to laugh at me. I lost my touch. Tricky, tricky on that reel right there. And I probably should have cut just a little on the outside of that, but I didn't want to get no big god off a of crack that I had to try to seal up. Ah! Get my old handy dandy pocket knife out right here. I just sharpened that bad boy the other day. But now I'll tell you this, you cut much insulation with a pocket knife and you'll find out in a minute you can't cut hot butter with it. But you see how it just saw through that insulation like butter. Yeah, buddy. All right. All right. Turn the silver side up and cram that down in there too. Oh. All right, well, y'all, the back of my house has now got a hole in it. Yeah, will this fit in there? Golly, y'all, look at that. It looks almost just like a professional done that because a professional did. <laughs> all right, we're good to go. We're going to get this all hooked up. All right. I went and sanded the inside of this a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. I think it's because I've been using these pipes for a couple of years in my shed, and they've suited up in there. But that thing ain't. Oh, it's going now. Yeah, we had had to put some of that country boy oomph on it. Now. Put that turnip greens and cornbread on against it, and make it go. Oh yeah, it's on there now. Oh yeah. Oh. So now let me turn y'all this way. Show
show y'all how I'm gonna work this. We're gonna go out. You get out of the way. All right, now, get this pushed back around. Whoa. Get these locked back together like I want. All right, we, y'all, we through there. I tell you this, though, we ain't got no whole lot of stuck back out the wall back under. So, that being said, I may put that short piece of collar that I've got right here. I've got that short piece I cut off. I may slip it up on there just to give me a couple more inches out there because I don't want to run a whole lot out there. And I wanted more insulated pipe in here than I did outside. I know a lot of people telling me that, oh, that I need to have more pipe open. I get more heat in here, but I don't want heat behind this wall. I want to eliminate as much heat back here behind this wall as I can, so... Little questions on why I'm doing things the way I am. I will say this. The reason I am running straight out is because of the way this is set up. TV may go back up on top. I don't really know. really don't care about even having a TV no more. So, I don't know. I'll get out back here, though, and talk. Okay, y'all. What I did is I went and got that short piece of pipe. And I put it in there on top of that. And that closed up that gap. And it inserted into this good. And that give me, because I was only sticking out the wall about that far, so now I'm sticking out like this far, so that's enough for me. I'm good with that. Okay, so the reason we're going straight out the wall, I know we really hadn't addressed this, is because on top of this is where the internet box, satellite cables come in, outside TV antenna cables all come in, so the TV sets up here. Personally, I, I, at this point, I'm, I could care less about TV, you know, throw it out. However, Christmas coming along, I do want to watch National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation a time or two. And I got to watch the Home Alones a few times. And old Grinch, I like to watch him. And then I like to watch old Alfie shoot that BB gun. So, you know, you got all that in, in Hallmark movies. You know, I might look at them some. I, I don't really try to advertise that I watch them Hallmark Christmas movies a little bit. But if you come in, you pretty well know what's going to happen so they'll suck you in because you, you know it's going to end good. <laughs> Y'all watch them too. You know it. Anyway, the TV goes up here, so that's why we're running straight out the back wall. And, uh... I, I didn't. I didn't want to have to. I didn't want to just run a pipe. And another thing, I don't cut holes in the roof. This ain't necessary. I'm metal roofer for a long time. I don't. I don't be cutting holes in the roof if I ain't absolutely got to. Sometimes it's necessary. I get it. Uh, but we, I didn't want to come up and then go out through this barn wood up here. It's a lot more drier and all that stuff down yonder. So uh, that's why we're doing it the way we do it. So I've got the pipe hooked up. Run out now. It's time to build a chimney, attach it back there. We'll get that done. And then I'll be building a fire before I put all this back. I want to be able to look in here and watch it. We got some more insulation we're going to put around stuff. I, just, I want to seal that hole up good, but I want to check it, see how hot it's getting and such as that. So we're not going to close all this up right now, but let's get this chimney and all that built the next day or so. We'll get this video made now. I have my chimney built i have been out here painting it i have got to do some more touching up on it i haven't i gotta paint this so i am just using some so i got some rust oleum paint i'm just touching up some of this stuff on here that i didn't get painted good these corners I have still got to build a cap for it. 
Right here, I used, let me lay this down. I used a soup can. Um, this is a can like a, almost, a, I guess a one gallon can that like tomatoes come in when you make a stew or dice, vegetables, whatever. The reason I use this is you can see on the inside, it has a seam right here. So I cut my hole for my smokestack to go in. I split this, but that give me something to weld to. And then, of course, it was a little wider than this. this is six inch steel tubing. Uh, I'll go down here where you can see. This is this is thick metal, so this is not something that I've got to worry about rusting into being a problem. And the next thing I've had people ask questions about when my pipe goes in, it's open under there. Ashes and soot can fall back down into there, y'all. If the inside of this catches on fire. It can just burn. It ain't gonna burn through that tubing. It can burn all it wants to on the inside of there and burn everything on the inside of there out. However, that is gonna hook right here to this. So that can't burn. That is insulated pipe from there all the way to the heater. And then I'll have to, I left it where I had a little bit of leeway. You see what I mean? So it ain't got a lot of margin, but I measured, I put this foot on here so that that can't move i put left these on there so that if i bump it with the lawn mower or something god forbid that it don't just knock it all loose so i'm saying um the next thing on this house let me show you up here the sun's up there that is an eave strut that is steel that you screw your tin to screwed into the bottom so this is gonna screw to that eave strut, boom, up to the wall. It's gonna go inside of here. These are my shims because I need to put one on either side of that. Okay, now I got them, see? Put one on either side of that. I can adjust that to the, to the distance I want and then I'm gonna put metal to metal screws through there. That way I don't have to have it precise. So y'all, all I gotta do is stand this up now and hook it up. So that's our next move. Well, y'all, we got her hooked up. Pretty tall. Oh. See how we got that in there good. And uh, it's leaning out from the wall just a little bit, but I'm okay with that. I was gonna climb up here and show you. I wound up with that pushed all the way in and that's why it's leaning out from the wall just a little bit. But I'm all right with that, it is no big deal. So now we gotta get the water tank moved. I'm through with that for water in my beds right out there. So I'm fixing to hook the water hose that, drain that, that's gonna go out of the way where I can clean all this area up. And then I'm coming off from here with a timber frame a pole shed for a back patio. Well, hey, y'all, thank y'all for watching this build on this thing. We, uh, <laughs> it's been a challenge. I'm not going to run it right now. I'm going to end this video and, uh, because I don't want it to be just too gone off along. So we'll do another video. One thing, it's too hot to build a fire today. Y'all in Mississippi, we sweating in t-shirts again here in November, but it's, it's usually, we don't ever have real winter here till over in January. We just have cold spells along. Supposed to be this weekend. Maybe I get to build a fire then. We'll see if it drafts right, if everything works right. Y'all, I'm happy with that. I feel like it's pretty safe. Now, I do got to get over there and silicone around that hole real good. No problem. But thank y'all for watching. I got a mess to clean up. We'll see y'all next time. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one.